Hey guys, welcome back to another video today. My name is Unique Week here. I'm going to at least try to post one video for you guys every single week. So today's video is going to be how to make your video better as you can see by the title. I don't know if it's changed, but um, pretty much this is going to be the idea. How to make your videos better. So let's get into the first tip and th that is background music. Background music is a huge play in your YouTube videos. As you watch many big subscribe, uh, many big YouTubers, if you listen to their video and you play it kind of loud, you hear some background music. Now the thing is, you never want to play your background music too loud because then if you're talking, it's gonna override on your voice. And if it's too quiet, then you can't hear anything and it kind of sounds like silence. So you kind of want to experiment and figure out how high or how low you want it. Also, you can adjust the volume of your voice also to make it louder or more quiet depends on what you're doing okay so background music keep that in your videos um, you can look up many non copyrighted music or you can um, make your own if possible if you can do that you're good because you know it's not gonna be copyrighted because it's made by you but the thing is that does take kind of a lot of work because you have to experiment and figure out if it's gonna work or not so just look up some non copyrighted music put that in your video on your golden so again background music plays a huge role in your video so let's get on to the next tip which is very similar to the first tip which is adjusting volume volume is also a huge play in your video how loud you are and how quiet you are so that is also a huge play you want to experiment again and how well and how loud you should sound in your video if you sound very loud to the point where um because I use iMovie for editing if I adjust the volume all the way up and I see that there's red and yellow around the top I know that's too loud and it's not gonna really sound so well so I want to keep it around the middle area where it's not going it's that red mark and yellow mark because that's kind of the point where it's exceeding very high loudness and you don't want to sound like that and it's just gonna sound very mumbly so adjust your volume play around with it but the thing is this is kind of a little quick tip going with that using headphones while editing. The reason why I say headphones, you can use Bluetooth headphones. I'm not so sure with the uh, headphone jack if that will work, but I'm pretty sure it should. Use headphones while editing. Usually you see some YouTubers or some editors, they use headphones because you can kind of hear the volume better. Now, I know there are probably some people who edit without headphones and they just use their phone speaker. But for me personally, I found that out that it doesn't really work so well when I try to adjust volume just by the speaker. Because when you're adjusting the volume just by your speaker, you're adjusting it based on how loud it is on your device. But you're not really thinking so much on others' device, on other people's devices. So you might want to use headphones so you can kind of hear and adjust the volume more correctly. Because I posted a video some time ago where I just kind of did it on the speaker and the volume was just all crazy. It was messed up and it just wasn't right. Uh, my voice was too loud, the music was too loud, and it was just a whole mess and you just don't want to sound like that. So use headphones if you can. From me personally, I would use headphones when editing. So editing software is also, again, a huge role in your video. I just use iMovie, very simple. Just use it on the iPad editing. Some of you may have a computer, a MacBook, something like that where you use editing um yeah you can use that too you can use the big software but if possible if you can make your life easier by using simple software do it it's not that hard you can use like what i do uh, what i do i use iMovie it's very simple i add my video add my intro add my music put it down adjust the volumes and i'm done with my video i save it i publish it bam i'm done but uh, some of you may want to do a big editing, like um, a bunch of green screen stuff. Now that's not hard to do, but you may want to do, um, you know, maybe a lot of sound effects or, it, you know, um, explosions or something going on in your screen that just makes it look really cool. Yes, you can do that, but if you don't have a lot of experience in editing, you may find it hard to do. Now you can watch many tutorials on how to do it, but you don't want to make your videos seem like you're trying too hard. Now it's okay if you do have a lot of effects on your screen, you know, based on stuff like fire or whatever, if you're doing stuff like that or, you know, um, celebration like confetti or something like that, that's fine. But if you're trying to make your video seem like the big YouTubers, you can try, but 
most likely start simple, build your way up, understand the knowledge of YouTube, understand the views, the watch time, all of that before you try to make huge videos, you know what I'm saying? Or hire editors and cameramen and buy expensive cameras. Don't rush into anything at all. Do not, like, say you post a video and you get one view. Do not buy a Yeti mic and a really expensive Canon camera and all of that very expensive stuff and high quality microphone and bunch of lighting systems and all of that. Don't rush into anything at all. I was kind of like that. I was kind of like, okay, I need to get this camera. I need to buy that. I need to get this. Oh, maybe I should get this one. Or maybe I can ask for this. No, don't rush into anything. It's, you know, it's going to be a big mistake. Just don't rush into buying huge stuff. So again, editing, keep it simple if you can. If you want to add some effects, you're fine, but don't overdo it and don't seem like you're, you know, you're really trying too hard because, you know, you might just mess up your video and it might seem like, okay, well, these are lousy effects and you don't want to be disappointed when people tell you that. Now, there are some mean people who will say much more rude stuff to you, much more meaner stuff, but there are some people who um, won't notice it. But, you know, if you keep it simple, keep it simple. It'll make your editing hours much easier. It doesn't take me that long to edit. My videos are very simple. So keep it simple if you can, don't try to go over the top, okay? So the next tip is lighting. So I'm not sure if the lighting on here is good, but you can see I'm not a professional, right? But I have a Canon camera, I know I said do not rush into anything, but I already had this some years ago for photography. I was into that too and I don't really do that anymore. So now I use it for video. This camera is not meant for video, it's meant for photos. Now you can put it into movie mode, right? No problem. But this, I can't see myself in a viewfinder or in the screen for me to see. I can't see my reflection back. So I'm just looking straight into the lens. Now many people do this too. But my camera, again, is not really meant for video. It's meant for photography. So this is the kind of, it does an autofocus. So this is the one that I kind of need to set it. And then hopefully I don't move so much that it gets me out of focus. Because if I were to go away or farther, it's gonna be blurry, it's not gonna readjust because you know it's meant for photography, you're meant to move the lens until it's right and then take a snap shot. But you can see here, I have background light. Now this one doesn't. You can see it's just, there's nothing down there. But here, light, red light. But my lighting I believe looks good because I don't have all the light facing towards me. For me it's kind of dark, not really dark, it's still kind of bright out, but I have a light over there, right behind the camera around there. I adjust it and then I look through the camera and I record myself just a quick little clip and I look at myself is it focused or not? What I do is I actually took a pillow because this is being filmed in my bedroom you know that? So if the audio is not the greatest I do apologize but yeah I use the pillow I sit it on the chair here and I focused it then I sat down and I, okay, and then I put little uh, adjustments to see how well it is and then um, I fixed it. Um, so if possible, lighting is a huge deal, but also focusing is a huge deal. If you have a camera that auto focuses, you're good. But um, for lighting, you want to have this kind of ceramic look or whatever this is. So background light, sure. Another light over there, yeah, it's not really pointing towards me. It's more pointing like to this half, I'm pretty sure. Around this corner here, it's dark. Here it's light. There's more light over here. There's less light over here. If you have an LED light that you can change the brightness, use that, it's perfect. I'm just using a normal lamp. I looked at many videos how to change the lighting. I just noticed the lighting was just so harsh on me. So you may want to look up how to soft, soften lighting because you know you don't want a bunch of bright glare in your eyes or something. You want a soft, bouncy light. You don't want um, you know really harsh light or like a giant spotlight in your face. Now you just want a soft light that's gonna work perfectly well. So, if possible, use a lighting, use a light, and you can kind of adjust it. Um, you don't really want to use ceiling lights because it's kind of all over the place. Now, that may work and it may do the job, but you don't want just, okay, get past it. It's going to do the job. You want a light that makes you kind of look nice. You want to make it look cool in your video. So, I have a light over there. It's a little far from the camera because I can't adjust the brightness on it. It's just a simple lamp, simple desk lamp. You flick it on and you got light. So what I did is I kind of moved it away and I rotated it quite a little bit and now it's not really facing me. So whatever works, works. And also how to make it a little bit um, 
the video better so I had to adjust the brightness in the camera I had to change and darken the video because it was kind of really light and even that simple light over there just made the video seem too bright for me so I adjusted made it a little darker and um, yeah so just play around with the camera alright so let's get on to the next tip camera equipment camera equipment is also a big deal in your videos but you can use pretty much any camera you have you can use your iPhone camera now I'm not using that I am using a Canon camera but iPhone camera is always a great starter most of you are probably gonna start out on using your phone if you're thinking of uh, vlogging or something like that now for gameplay that's simple just record your uh, gameplay and um, you can do a voiceover if you want or you can just have another device for recording um, recording your voice but um, yeah you can use your phone definitely most definitely for um, recording um, you can set it and you can look up and how just play with the settings and how to do it um, so yeah camera equipment very big deal but if you're just starting out do not worry about getting the biggest and latest new camera your phone works perfectly well but there are some functions that a camera can do that a camera on your phone can't now while the phone may seem like a perfect ideal thing your um, well, you can see my Canon camera is doing quite well, and it's kind of an older model, I'm not sure when. So, yeah, look into detail b before buying cameras. Um, just test out with your phone, see how well it is. If your phone is really old, then think about buying a camera. But do not try to buy the 4K cameras that are like $2,000 or getting a $6,000 camera. I know there's much more expensive ones, but test it out first. And see how it goes all right before uh, getting thing anything getting anything too too big so this brings me on to our next topic microphone quality so this audio is I believe is being recorded just on the camera there's no external mic connected to it I don't have a Yeti mic over there or right there in the camera no I don't have any microphone I'm just using camera microphone whatever works works for me but um yeah, maybe in the future I will get a better sounding microphone. But for me, this sounds perfectly fine. It captures what I say. It's not exactly all mumbly and talking like this and it really sounds really clear. But no, it's kind of clear, I believe. Hopefully it sounds clear. But um, yeah, microphone. Do not really rush into buying big microphones. If your microphone works on your camera or on your phone, you're good. Don't rush into buying, uh, buying big microphones. But if your microphone sounds horrible, buy a cheap little microphone. Use headphone microphones if you can. Those are perfect. You know, the little microphone and it has that little adjusting thing for iPhones and you plug it in. Good. Some singers use that. It sounds good when recording just on the little microphone on your headphone jacks. So, yeah, think about um, your microphone. So let's get on to the next tip. So the next tip is going to be... Um, background noise now this is very similar to again uh, adjusting volume but background noise is also um, kind of horrible um, what I mean by that is um, you know dogs barking um, the fan running and um, people yelling something like that <laughs> but people yelling but something like that something in the background if you can kind of stop that noise then you know um, if you can stop that noise that's good for your video um, as you can as you know some people when talking um, or big uh, youtubers or uh, twitch streamers they have foam pads all around their room because it entraps the voice it kind of focuses it in the room and doesn't escape or make it really echoey when they're loud like you know when you're in the bathroom and you in the big bathroom you speak it's kind of echo 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 you don't want that kind of noise I know but that's very related to um, the microphone issue but background noise try to eliminate it if you can um, it is a little warm here in the room I don't have the AC on or the fan going because I know that's gonna be heard on the camera. You're gonna hear and something like that. You don't want that kind of noise in your camera. So um, if you can eliminate that from your video, perfect. So yeah, if you have pets in your room and they're barking and you're trying to film, you know, kind of go away from them or move them out of the way in, into the next room because um, you want your videos to be kind of silent because. Um, Obviously, you can add background music, but when filming, you're gonna want it to be silent. So, what I mean by background noise is let me turn on the AC so you guys can actually hear what it sounds like if I were to have this running right now. Probably heard that beep, but let's listen to this. Kind of loud. I'm pretty sure you can hear it, you know. And that's the AC going. 
Let me just turn it off for you guys. So yeah, that was the AC. And that's a little loud. So if you can eliminate and make those tiny little sacrifices, just not having something running for your video, no problem. You will survive. You don't probably need a fan running. Unless it's really hot, then, you know. Um, or also if you're vlogging outside and there's cars going, kind of go away from them. Or um, speak a little louder. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, those are my tips for you. Um, let me think. If there's another tip, I did cover lighting, microphone, camera quality. Um, yeah, I believe that's all of my tips for you. Um, or, um, no, actually one more tip. Kind of remind um, people to subscribe to their channel. Now, what I mean by that is not, you know, there's some people in the beginning of the video who say, uh, hey guys, subscribe and smash like on the video and, you know, put on post notifications so you get money and I, or something like that. You get money, but I don't know. Um, some people remind their, remind people when watching their video to smash like and subscribe right in the, right in the beginning. It doesn't make any sense. You know, if I was watching your video and you told me, subscribe to my channel. I don't even know what you're talking about because I've never seen your content before. I don't know if it's worth my time to see how good your channel is and subscribe right away because I need to see how well you are and how what kind of good content you make because if I am interested in your video, then I'll subscribe after. Of course, I'll subscribe after. If I like what you make, I'll subscribe after. If I want to see more uh, regular videos from you, yeah, I'll subscribe. But don't tell viewers to subscribe right in the beginning of the video they don't even know who you are and how good your content is and you know they're just gonna be like oh okay uh, you know remind them to subscribe around the middle of the video or around the end now the problem with it being in the end is because most likely people will click off the video right away once it's over so somewhere in the middle you can remind them take a little short break and say hey guys hey guys sorry i my video cut out, but um, I believe I was saying is that you can remind your viewers to smash like and smash like to click the like button and just subscribe with post notifications. So yes, it does help you, and I guess it helps them to get a reminder from you, but not really. It's just usually to help your subscriber count. So yes, my video did cut out there, and uh, I don't know if I'm running out of storage here. This video is kind of long. Oh, oh, oh! So sorry. One last tip, guys. Make sure your videos are in between 10 minutes into 30 minutes never exceed 30 minutes because then your videos are too long if it exceeds 30 minutes if possible cut it down into two parts because um if it's over that it's, your video is gonna be too long and viewers are kind of like, yeah, yeah okay they're gonna be tired and they're gonna be bored of your video so i'm talking really fast because i don't want the uh, i don't want the storage to run out of the camera okay so um yeah keep in between 10 to 30 minutes 20 minutes that's it's okay over that yeah but around 10 minutes your videos are good around 10 minutes people um continue and watch the end because watch time is very important on how long people can stick to your video and watch it all the way through the end so um yeah that's very important watch time so um yeah try to make your videos a little shorter if it ends up being really long i'll try to cut this down into around 10 minutes but i believe right now it's being around 20. So if it's over that 30 minutes, if possible, cut it down into two parts. If you can't, then people might, you know, not watch anymore. So keep your videos kind of short around, you know, 1 to 30 minutes, if possible. So the 10 minute mark is probably golden around 12 minutes. Yeah, that's probably where you want to keep your videos. I know some people have their videos like 24 minutes, but they got really interesting things going on and they usually stick to the end. So, yeah. I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video, um, and I'll see you guys in the next. Guys, I'm, I'm um, yes, okay. Guys, I'm sorry. I forgot one last tip. I'll make this quick. I'm sorry. You guys have to watch this long. Enthusiasm, huge role in your video, huge, massive. Enthusiasm is everything. You know, you don't want to be boring in your videos, and I'll be like, so today we're going to be doing this. Um, don't forget to the like button and subscribe with post notification don't talk like that talk with courage talk like you're happy you know don't be so sad sounding and depressed 
be happy because your viewers are gonna be like, oh, okay, this person has a good vibe. I like them. You know, they they, they seem very happy, and you know, it seems like they they actually have fun in this video. That seems cool. You know, um, you know, you don't want to seem so boring to your viewers. Um, you know, you just want to sound um, very clear. Sound, uh, you know, be happy. Uh, you gotta know when to raise your voice and also when to lower your voice. You know, when it's very serious, you want to talk, um, you know, very serious tone, usually lower. But, you know, when you're trying to show off some cool things, you're usually gonna raise your voice and usually goes much higher. Now, that's usually when you're trying to get the point across is when you speak very loudly. You know, um, so, yeah. Enthusiasm plays a huge role in your video. So, yeah, again, this one is for real. I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.